Hello, uh, my name is Vikram Thakur and uh, in this video uh, we will be studying about the research paper that I have uh, just published uh, which is a case study on liver patient data analysis in India uh, using statistics uh, uh, with a proper sampling and data studio uh, analysis. Uh, let's move ahead uh, towards the introduction. Uh, Introduction to liver disease. Uh, clonic uh, liver disease is a major cause of morbi mortality and morbidity, accounting for approximately 2 million deaths per year. Moreover, there has been a 46% increase in cirrhosis mortality in the world from 1980 to 2013. Cirrhosis and other chronic liver diseases are a major cause of morbidity and mortality. Globally, all through the burden and underlying causes differ across locations and demographic groups. According to the latest WHO data published in 2018, liver de disease deaths in India reached uh, more than 2.50 uh, lakhs or 3% of the total deaths. According to WHO, alcohol consumption accounts for 3.8% of the global morbidity. Uh, about a uh, uh, research paper so the liver is an important uh, human organ uh, it is just under your ribcage uh, and uh, it is important for the functions like uh, digestion and filtering all the toxic substances uh, throughout that process uh, liver disease can uh, be genetic uh, which makes it uh, more uh, problematic uh, more than 2 million people uh, suffer uh, disease uh, or other problems related to liver according to the who data published in 2017 liver deaths on uh, just in india reached more than 2.60 uh, lakhs uh, which accounts to nearby 3% of the total deaths so in this paper uh, we are going to use concepts like systematic sampling uh, for statistical analysis in liver data uh, patients and then we will calculate uh, some of the important uh, parameters to understand population so abstract and the research paper is uh, a case study on liver patient analysis as we have already talked uh, we are not just going to uh, contribu uh, con contribute a statistical analysis but also a, a data visualization analysis the data set we are working on is available on Kaggle website you can uh, find the same link at the given uh, image uh, uh, which will be at the last page there are total 600 uh, near uh, 589 population uh, out of which the ideal sample size was 232 uh, the data set consists of uh, some important parameters like protein level ag ratio h albumin count uh, so let's go ahead with the analysis in using data studio the scorecard where the total number of persons uh, the default record card has been shown and we have changed the metric to disease confirmation uh, and based on the total uh, number now what uh, uh, using the style of this uh, scorecard uh, we'll simply change the color and font uh, size and uh, we'll make this UI uh, look uh, good we'll do the same for uh, total healthy person and total unhealthy person and we will just filter out uh, the them uh, based on the disease confirmation and non confirmation now we are going to create a table uh, which uh, will uh, be changing the matrix uh, from the default uh, to male and female and this is simple as we already saw now what we'll be doing is uh, let's create a bar chart for the same so now uh, what we'll do is uh, add a pie chart uh, which will predict the, uh, the data of age wise uh, dimension and the values inside it will be based on total average of protein present in the age group of 60 and so on for different different age groups we'll just make uh, it has count here 
and in the same way this will continue we'll just change the matrix we'll make this gender based uh, bar graph later And now let's make it as text. Now we are all set to add a filter on this chart. Calculation. Uh, so, uh, uh, in the uh, statistical calculation part, what we have done is uh, some of the important statistical parameters uh, like mean, variance, standard deviation, confidence level, critical value, margin of error, and confidence interval were calculated step by step, and then they were concluded uh, based on the results. Uh, let's uh, and uh, all this uh, study you can find on the research paper, which uh, soon will update in the description box. Yeah, let's move ahead to its uh, summary. Summary. So based on the, our sample data, we estimated the sample mean for liver patient and healthy patient. We have uh, uh, concluded uh, what major difference uh, uh, is held by some uh, important parameters like uh, albumin globulin ratio, which is very important uh, factor as we have studied that it contributes directly to the risk functioning of the liver. We can uh, observe that AG ratio for healthy patient was less and uh, for liver patient it was more. So it can be concluded that if uh, AG ratio is more then the person may have an uh, liver uh, problems uh, something uh, same thing was with the protein level uh, so we can say that uh, protein level must be controlled in order to prevent uh, liver dysfunction uh, so what would be the future scope uh, for this research paper. In this research paper, we have uh, used uh, stratified sampling uh, to analyze data set using the statistical method. Uh, but more accurate sampling, uh, more the result uh, will be better. So in the future, we can uh, uh, study the same uh, sample using different sampling methods and co contribute towards a great uh, statistical study. Liver diseases can be inherited or caused by a variety of factors which damage the disease. So when the condition is left untreated, it can become life friendly so it is very important that uh, more such parameters uh, we need to uh, identify and uh, conduct a study on them so below you can find some uh, references which uh, we have used uh, for the uh, research paper uh, which was uh, some of them were uh, by Norai Mohammadi Shak uh, RP Rajeshwari uh, PR Tamil Selvi and uh, Rajnand Kaur. Uh, you can uh, visit this website uh, or research paper uh, using the link given below. So this is all for the research paper video um, and thank you.